Hi friends, I wanted to upload this kind of more useful video on my channel. So I had problems with my power windows. Sometimes they worked, sometimes they didn't. I was thinking about what could be the problem. First, I thought that maybe the buttons are broken. Then I decided to open the loom that goes between the car's door and the car's interior. I think that it is the most common problem because these looms have been twisted who knows how many times. And because of that, the wires going through these looms can be damaged. I disconnected them and opened. I was surprised how badly they were damaged. They were severely damaged. I decided to try to fix them. Maybe if you don't want to waste a lot of time, maybe it is better to find some looms from another car, but I wanted to try to fix it. That was my second plan. If I couldn't do it, I would search for another one or maybe find some other solutions. So the first thing that I did, I disconnected my car's battery just to not shorten up something and damage it even more. There are some newer car models that can make problems if you disconnect their batteries. So make research about it. The only problem that I had was I couldn't solder new wires because as you can see, the wires were cut immediately to the connector and I tried to find a solution. I decided to get rid of the materials around the connector and somehow pull out the wires and make space for soldering them. Found some old wires which were approximately the same width with the ones in the connector, prepared them for soldering, added some more space and soldered them up. After that, isolated from each other. Put everything in place, tried to make the shape like it used to be. So it is not perfect, but it is okay. So it works. Used this thing here. I don't know how exactly it is called. It is kind of a glue, but you can find something similar to it if you do the same thing. It created kind of rubberish flexible material, which was perfect for this purpose. Put everything in place, soldered with the wires on the car. I'm satisfied with it. As I said, maybe it doesn't look very nice, but it works. And as you can see, the window now works without any problem. So thanks guys, have a nice one.